Okay, let's have a little look at our... Okay, and three, two, So we're going to go car as it Here's our next word. Start. Start. If you're not quite sure, think about the sounds that we've got in there. Star. Start. How might we spell that one? Start. Start. Let's have a little look there. Five seconds. And four, three, four, two, one. Start. Brilliant stuff, guys. That's fantastic writing. Well done. Start. The next word we are looking for is sharp. Ooh, sharp. Sharp. Ouch. Sharp. So we've got a digraph to start with. Sharp. 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 Ouch. That's a bit. Sharp razor sharp teeth. Yeah, like razor sharp, sharp, yeah. Sharp. It's a great white sharp song. Really, really sharp razor sharp. They do sharp. have very, very sharp teeth, don't they? But they're sharp as a razor knife. Yeah. Razor knife. Okay, let's have a look then. Things. Five, four, three, two, one. What are we saying? Yeah, that's it. Hold them up. Up. Yes, and some beautiful writing as well. Well done, guys. Yes. So you've got s up, sharp. Fantastic. Well done. Okay. Yes, no game now. Now, if you've not done the yes, no game before, what you're going to do is when I say a word, this sound, R, then you write yes on your board, and if you want to push yourself, you can write no. Explain that again. If the word I say has got R in it, then you write yes. If it's not, then you write no. And if you want to push yourself, if you want a bit of a challenge, then you can. Uh, you okay, yeah. So we're going to have a go at our first word. Alex, you ready? You ready? Your first word is harp as in i played the harp what's a harp harp is an instrument <gasps> harp harp but what is a harp it's a musical instrument but i don't know what um it is but we'll have a look at one later uh, so has harp got r in it? if you think yes it has then you write yes on your board if you think no it hasn't then you write no uh, and if you want to challenge, how, how might we spell harp? Okay, are we ready then in five, 
Well done, brilliant stuff. So give yourself a point if you got that right. How much okay. points have I got? You got one point so far. Our next I word. Got one point. I've got one. Okay, Alex, ready? Three, Our four, next word four. is shark. Six. As in, what what swims in the got sea? Six. Shark is our next word. Shark. So yes. Has, then you write yes. Shh. If you think no, it hasn't, then you write no. And if you want a challenge, look, wait, how might we spell look, shark? Look at one gray, um, um, gray, um, a white shark's teeth. You've drawn a shark tooth. Nice. Yeah. Because okay, so that yes or no, Alex? What we saying? For it. Um, okay. Yes or no, Five shark. Five seconds then. Four, three, two, one. Yes or no? Shark. Ah, oh, shark. Is it excellent stuff? A kicking cup. It is a kicking cup. Oh, that's okay. Don't for sh, ah, oh, and a kicking k at the end. So shark, and that is correct. Well done, guys. Give yourself. Okay, our next word is stamp. Stamp. Now, if you think that's got the R sound in it, then you write yes. If you think it's not got the R sound in it, then you write no. And if you want a challenge, how might we spell stamp? As in, I put a stamp on the letter. St oh, oh. oh, I put a stamp on my R. Or maybe Like the your skin that goes on your arm, and when it and um, like when it um, um all dries into your skin, it might make your hurties go away. Very and true. make sure and make sure your um, hurties don't go. Okay, let's have a look then. Three, two, two. one. What are we saying? Stamp. Stamp. Uh, no, that's not mm. got that sound in it. Has. Ah. Fantastic stuff. Well done, guys. Right, our last word then. Next. Yes. Oh, ready. Okay, here we go. Our next word, our last word is smart. Hmm, I'm feeling smart. So you tell me, has smart mm. got the R sound in it? Aww. If you think yes, it has, then you write yes. If you write, think no, it hasn't, then smart. you write no. Smart. And if you can, have a go at spelling it. Okay, one second, hang on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Smart. 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 Smarties. Like smarties. I like smarties. Okay, I like let's smarties. have a look then. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Smart, yes or no? Yes, well it, done. It's it does it. have smart in it. It has that digraph. It's like a, mm, art. It's like you're wearing a smart shirt and some smart trousers and a smart tie. That's right. You might be wearing some smart clothes. So if you're spelling that, smart. Art. Well smart. done. Give yourself a point for that. Fantastic stuff, guys. That's absolutely brilliant. Nine points. You've got nine points. Amazing. Right then. So we're going to have a little look today. And we're going to look at the next part of our resource pack. So the first part of it, that's it. So the first part of our research looks at some key words. And our theme this week is all to do with space. So our space. very first word that we're going to have a look at is this one just here. Now, if you think you know what that says, just hang on, to, hold on one second. then I'd like you to say that word out loud. So if you've not got your resource pack to hand, but make sure mama, you've got it. If not, don't worry. Shout out. Oh yeah, we'll do a shout out in a bit. Yep, yeah, that's good. So we're gonna look at this word to start yeah. with. So if we're not was? quite sure, yeah, me. I'm we'll do that in a sec. If you're not quite sure, let's have a little look. Let's break it down. Oh, you so that? we've got so. so, so. 
and we've also got l ah so la and then push it forward sola so with the sun so that's why you have things like Costa del Sol that means like um, it means like um, like a space station or somewhere well it is to do with space isn't it yeah. now so that's our first word so solar okay we've got this word just here now so let's have a look, quick look at this word we're not going to say it out loud just yet we can work out what the word actually says so I'll just hold it a little bit closer so you can see Okay, so we've got this part of the word. I, let's say that one together. I, sis. Then we've got this part of the word. T, e, m. Let's say that together. T, e, m, tem. So we're going to put those two together. We've got sis, tem, system, 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 and that goes with our friend solar because a solar system is all of the planets that are nearby us, nearby yeah. Earth. And another word solar system is the space station. Well, there is the International solar Space solar Station. Because, like, um, me and Daddy were watching a space program, yeah, you and were, you? it was so awesome. Right. I was like, what there was in the space. In a minute, yes, we're going to do this one first, though. Then so let's have a little look at. Listening. Okay, here we go. So let's look at that sound. M a s m a s m a s. We've got another keyword just here, which is this one. So let's have a look together. We're not going to say the whole word. We're going to look at it first. S t r s. Let's say that together. S t r s. Stars. Stars. Okay, here's our next one then. Our next word is this word just here tricky one this one this is quite a complicated word so let's have a little look at it shall we let's break it down so we've got this just here because b e in this case is going to be b b because. now we did last week we did all the or sounds so we're gonna have k or k or be cool. so we've got b core and then we've got this one just here, which is another digraph, which is s. So we're going to have b, core, s. Because. 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 because or some actually. people say it because. I because. Say it because. Because. Because of that. Okay. And that's what's called a connective. Okay. Now we've also got this word just here so let's look at that one together if we've not come across that one before let's have a look and see if we can break it down so we've got so got so hang on hang on let's go through the word fa the it isn't, it isn't your dad, it's just farther, further away. Yes, it's another word for further or farther away. So when you talk about distance, you say farther away, you can say far. further as well. Um, and further. farther away, so it talks about how far away something is. Brilliant stuff, guys. Right. Okay, in your resource pack, you've got number two, which is a little passage all about the stars in the sky and about Mars. So you're going to need to grab yourself a pen because we're going to do some circling of our dear friend, Ah. Okay, so grab yourself a pen if you haven't got one already. And let's see if we can find it. Okay. So make sure you've got that one to hand. 
and we're going to have a little read through and see if we can find it. Okay. If you are watching on YouTube and you're catching up and you haven't had a chance to look through this yet, then you might want to just press pause and have a little read through first. Okay. Because what we try to do is have a read through of this before we start the lesson so that we've got an idea of what it says. So we're not just looking for the sound. We know what the words actually mean. Okay. So here we go. There are lots of stars. Let's start with that bit. There are lots of stars. Hmm. Have a little look. There are lots of stars. Man, hmm. this doesn't even come on there. Okay. Let's have a little circle of those words then. So we should have there are lots of stars. So you should be circling R and stars. Well done, you've got two points if you've got those ones. So there are lots of stars in the sky, but in our solar system, there is only one, the sun. So let's have a look at that together. So we've just Pretty done, spacious. there awesome. are lots the sky but in our solar um, system um, um, can you read that again so there I can is read only that. one can you read that can you can you read that again yeah just a second then okay i'll go through it once more then there are lots of stars in the sky and i still don't understand listen, listen then because you're going to Fast. Okay, well listen then. But in our solar but I wanted you to start system, again. Can okay, I'll start fast? again in a sec. There is only one, the sun. So there are lots of stars going on in the sky, but in our solar <laughs> system there is only one the sun. So you should have put an R, a circle, around the R in solar. And I should have actually given up a point Nine, if you got that one. Ten. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven. Well done. One planet in the solar system so, oh, I got? is Mars. Um, so I've got... So you've got two more. Um, so I've got... I, I don't actually know. Okay, we'll count the points in a minute. Let's go through it, okay? I got Stay 12. focused. One planet in the solar system is Mars. <gasps> Can we find those R's? R, R, R. Um, I've so got you should have solar and Mars. Well done. Give yourself two points. Alex has got 13 points. Well done. It is far... Minus 45 degrees. Um, I've got That's 14, very cold. That's colder than a freezer. 15. No, I've got, I've got 15. Yeah, well Is done. There one somewhere? Yeah. Let's read that one together, that sentence. It is far colder on Mars than where we are. We should hopefully have three in that sentence, yeah? So I it is far colder on Mars than where we are. Okay. Give yourself three points for that. That's fantastic. And it's minus 45 degrees on Mars. That is so cold. Okay, here we go. Alex, last sentence. Stay focused. Uh -huh. This is because Mars is much farther... Uh -oh. the sun than we are so this is because mars is much farther away from the sun than we are i've got there you go is that the only r left so you should hopefully have a circle around mars and around farther Waiting. Well done. And 19. around R. 
and stuff. Give yourself three points for that, guys. You've done so well. Okay. So before we go, if you would like to have a if you'd like to have a shout out, your name nice and big and clear on your piece of paper or your board. Okay. To Sophie. Not me. Hi Sophie. I'm gonna say hello to Alex. <laughs> Hi Alex. I'm gonna say hello to Miles. Hi Layla. I'm gonna say I can't quite see yours, my love. Let me just make you a little bit bigger. Oh. Who's that? Um. I can't quite see yours. Just hold it a little bit closer, sweetheart. That's it. Ah, hello, Carvin. I'm going to say hello to Pippa as well. Hi. I'm going to say hi to Archie. Hello. And hi to Eden. Hello. And anybody else? Hi, Milo. Hi. Fantastic. <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining us for uh, Homeschooling with Harriet. We've got lots of really fun ideas for the rest of the day. We've got a little bit of a math activity, colouring in thermometers, and we've got some colouring which Alex has started uh, with um, rockets. Planet yeah, Earth. Yeah, how many? There's so, a whole planet to do with space so we hope you will join us tomorrow and we will see you soon for some very fun phonics so if you want to check out anything else you can always have a look at homeschoollearning.co.uk um home learning home learning school.co.uk forward slash you can by all means do and please like and subscribe and share